I think it's always fun to see just the different map picks, to be honest. And, and Mammoth, as much as I love Mammoth, I think there's a lot of charm to Thunderguard Stadium with some of the other ones. Coming through. Holix right off the bat going super unarmed onto Jerry K. Jerry K has the weapon, which is a sword moving through. Nice pickup onto the scythe as Jerry K throws away his sword. Holix moving back, weapon guarding. Uh, will allow Jerry K to get that hammer though as Jerry K moving in. Once that stomp is to knock, gets the scoop. He's looking for some ice cream. Nice side stick coming out from Jerry K. Big hit, big damage. Holix gets caught out by that down signature, aka that's known as what? The Stevenator? Back in the day? At, at a time it was. Uh, the gravity What's cancel boulevard down signature. A very good technique to catch your opponents off guard. Uh, Whoa! Jerry K getting the And scoop. Jerry K just. Yeah. And following up with a neutral air, fishing for, scooping for, and does get some ice cream. He finds himself some ice cream. Holix unarmed. Uh, but it's looking like Holix is the one who needs access to the ice cream right now because he needs to cool Jerry K off. Jerry K is playing. Like he is on fire right now. Like he took that stock in under a minute. He did take that stock in under a minute, and he did it without taking too much damage on his own. But Holix gets a great signature follow-up right there with the weapon throw, confirming what is going to be a Whoa. Oh, so close. So, so close, close right there. I've a seen a couple closer, more but seconds. But that was close. And the dodge would have recovered, and then the the recovery would have been there. But however that is, it's great for Holix as it does even the game very, very much. Alex looking for some scythe combos. Uh, looking very good on the grounded scythe, but Jerry K is uh, doing a very good job of keeping him up in the air with that hammer, with the scoops, and the neutral airs. I think it'll really be beneficial to Jerry K if he can keep Holux in the air for as much as humanly possible. I and think Holux that's really going to determine the swing in this game. Goes in for the unarmed play, hits the recovery, but Jerry K has been hitting some nice side airs, some big smacks. Side light, dash back. Alex hits a nice signature. Hard one to hit because of the arc on occasion. And Jerry K just cannot get in as Holix is relentless with the spacing. Double recovery. Jerry K without a weapon. Waits out the ground pound, gets the haymaker punish, goes to the ground pound of his own, but the weapon throw giving him protection. Weapon throw down with the sword. Gonna give Jerry K a little bit of protection against Holix. Nice weapon throw down, both of them unarmed. Holix up above, gonna go ahead and pick up the scythe. Goes in for the signature immediately and gets the KO onto Holix, into, onto Jerry K. Good signature by Holix. Looking like he's uh, trying to shut down some of the momentum that Jerry K is coming in with from his last set. At this point, uh, three minutes have quick ticked down on the timer, which I'd say is adequate time to to have the match go without it steamrolling out of control. And that's really what mm -hmm. you want if you're Holix. If you nice. if you let Jerry K play the match too fast, things could very quickly spiral out of control. And the fact that this match is going long is a great sign for Holix. Jerry K looking for that kill. Hits a good side air. There it is. Swing, batter, batter, swing. As Jerry K does go ahead and even up the stocks. But Jerry K is in that dark orange. A few more hits will put Jerry K into a KO position. Into the the zone, the KO zone, and that can be a very, very difficult place to be uh, on your final stock. Alex looking for the spear, sir. Instead, dodges in and finds the neutral light. He's pretty much trading hit for hit with Jerry K, which is good for Holix, not good for Jerry K. If he does about two more of those, he'll end up dead, and Holix will be just fine sitting in the orange. Holix does land the spear ground pound, has Jerry K off stage, really utilizing these there kill it is. moves. Alex takes it. Holix taunted after that. He's feeling confident for sure. And Steve. Jerry K looks like he might be swapping to uh to uh what, what what's the caveman's name again? Nash. You had you had it just a second ago? Yeah, it's Nash. Oh, I mean No 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 Thralk? Thralk, yeah. He he's swapping to the Thralk. You know, Previously repetition named. emphasizes of course. Anyways, no, um, we're not doing. <laughs> you know what, what? We've seen a lot out of SEA that you don't see a lot in other regions is the spear ground pound meta. I've seen more spear ground pounds today in the last three hours than I have in the last like four or five weeks of tournaments from from North America and Europe. And quite often, I find that it's 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 a coin flip for these players, Steve, where. They either go down and then the, the recovery leaves them vulnerable so they get punished in a big way, or they hit it and they get a phenomenal KO. 
Yeah, I mean, the Spear Ground Pound did recently reserve a, receive a buff along with the Spear Sitter and the Spear Recovery. So I, using all three of those moves in tandem to find those KOs and to play neutral in a lot safer way than you could previously do with Spear is something that we're seeing SEA players do a lot this tournament. They are thinking quite a lot about this map choice. But why is the answer Small Brawl Haven? Uh, I'm thinking they're gonna go to Blackguard Key. Oh, well, <laughs> that was that was fast. My dream. Yeah, it's gonna crushed. be Miami or Small Brawl Haven. If it's not Miami, oh, it's a new map. Small you called it from Brawl the Haven. very beginning. Yeah, I just you know I, I had a feeling. I looked and I, I was like, I don't think understand. we've actually even gone here yet. I think this is the first match of the entire tournament that I've seen on Small Brawl Haven. I think it is. And the face that he's making is because this is the only the first time we've seen it and not like the fifth time. Yeah, I'd sad? be sad if this is the only time I I as a map have been played the entire tournament. This pick Small Brawl Haven is the same. <laughs> you is... know, like Flatland wise, uh, Small Brawl Haven is very similar to Mammoth and, and Shipwreck, but it just seems to get favored less probably because of the lower ceiling makes it a lot easier to get cheesed. Yeah, the KO box around, the sky box around the, the map is much, much smaller, uh, which makes it much easier to get these early KOs. This game is like chess right now. Just the movement from these players, it's so thought out, it's so calculated. The little short hops over each other, the damage being dealt, the engagements, nice down there from the Holix. Unbelievable. Did you say they're playing 4D chess right now? I mean, I, yeah, 4D, 5D, maybe even 6D chess. Ooh. SDA with the big brains out here. Uh, Nash definitely got a big head. Can say that one for sure. In fact, when he when he puts on his Triceratops skin, they fun fact they actually have to move over the portraits in the top right to make room for the for the helmet of the Triceratops skin. But Jerry K is hitting the double D light, seeing a little bit of uh, echoes of of some of the spear players of the past who are not currently in the top eight. Uh, we've been seeing that double D light a lot today uh, to build up damage really fast. And Jerry K is. Switch into the Nash. I don't think we've I seen him play this here today, but he's, seen, but he's showing that he's just as well adapted to it as the rest of the yeah. players in this tournament. Jerry K. Dude, Steve, Jerry K is having none of this. He didn't take any damage on his second stock before knocking Hollix down to his final stock. I mean, the casual hammer usage, it's just hook, line, sinker. I mean, they're playing volleyball. They're set, spike. Like, it's, it's right there. Nice down light into oh, side air. Great down light. Barely Jerry, caught him. Jerry K's control of the neutral territory, the neutral ground, is phenomenal. And there it is. Jeez. Jerry K with an effortless win. That that looked like a pools match. Jer Jerry K just switched to the Nash and instantly made that look like, you know, Holix is, you know, hi guys, this is my first tournament. <laughs> Obviously, after what we saw from Holix last game, we know that's not true because Holix won the last game, but something awoke in uh, in Jerry K after that first game with this Nash, and he's looking great look going into the first or er, uh, third game, rather. Here we go into map choice. No more small brawl haven after that. Uh, I, I mean, a lot of those KOs were factored in because Jerry K has a phenomenal Nash. But also, we're the, the small hurt box, the small kill box of small brave in Bar Hyven, which is why it was one of the first ones you saw X out there. Yeah, and a character like Nash with fantastic sigs and high force, it's not surprising to see him kill so early on a map like Brawlhaven. Instead, we're going to be opting for Thunderguard Stadium, which can also lend itself to uh, early kills, but those tend to be more off the top, which Nash isn't quite as good on. Three, at. Two, one, and Mirage uh, is better at. With uh, with both of her down signatures on her weapons. Nice side light. Neutral air coming up from Holix. Weapon throw up. Side air. Pretty much just trading hits back and forth. Holix with a good down air into neutral air to build some damage onto Jerry K. Jerry K tossing away his weapon right now. Nice engagement there, carrying Holix out on the left side. Jerry K recovers down underneath into the shenanigans zone. I like that we're on Thunderguards. 
Uh, it's a great map choice, and there it is! The float and slam out from Jerry K. I mean, it really is such a powerful move. It hangs in the air for so long, and it nearly gets the kill right there. The scoop? Yes, the scoop. The scoop is one of the moves on Hammer that can capitalize on the low ceiling of Thunderguard Stadium, so I like seeing Jerry K use it. That was quite possibly the weirdest hitbox I've ever seen on the Nash hammer neutral sleek. I've seen it hit many directions. I don't think I've seen it hit up and diagonal before, but it worked wonders for, for Jerry K and it killed Holix successfully. But Holix responded quickly without taking a single hit of damage, and this is going to be a close third game. Two stocks basically a reset one minute and 20 seconds into the game here. Jerry K on that left wall, hanging around, goes in for the weapon pickup, has that hammer, very scary weapon in his hands. Woes to the weapon throw, but the spot touch from Holix is going to leave Jerry K unarmed, picks up the spear, goes into that sidelight, uh, chase dodges into that recovery. Holix moving in, goes to the signature, nice down air from Holix. Both players just playing a very careful yet nice fast neutral right Ground now. Ground pound. Can Jerry K get back here? Holix's pressure has been on point. Beautiful Ooh, a good insane. neutral stick from Jerry K. I honestly thought that was going to kill, but not quite. And then the scoop that also doesn't kill. Holix has got to choose his recovery option very carefully. Jerry K actually fumbles his weapons a little bit and ends up being the one without the weapon. The haymaker but he doesn't in. need one. The Falcon Punch comes in. Beautifully executed. And Jerry K is in line right now to take this game if he can extend the stock and if he can deal a little bit more damage. Has the hammer, takes a bit of a recovery to the face. Nice side light with the weapon throw down. Edge guarding rather well here. Weapon guarding, weapon starving rather well. But the down layer from Holix does good damage. Weapon throw down. Hammer back into Jerry K's hands. Holix is not allowed to have a weapon recovery. Knocks Jerry K quite high. Weapon throw down to give a little bit of protection on the way down. Neutral air into recovery. Side light from Jerry K. Weapon toss into recovery. Holix. Looking Jerry for a win. hammer is looking great right now. He's controlling space with it. Great ground pound. In and out. But uh, but Holix finding that spear ground pound. That's been the move that has been working for him the most in finding those KOs with the spear. Jerry nice. K now with a spear of his own hitting the down lights there. Not quite finding the follow up. Side light into neutral air into recovery. Jerry K moving in with some nice hops. Down light into side air. Pushes Holix off to the right side. Long ground pound from the spear. That's what I was talking about before. Leaves you right open, but no punish there. But does allow Holix recovery. Recovery from Holix does push Jerry K up a little bit. Jerry K has a nice down light side air. Holix on the left side dodges to move himself back in. Side air not quite going to get hit as Holix does avoid it. Moving up with weapon throws, giving a little protection. Signature not going to hit. Neutral air not going to hit. Hawks comes down the middle, but the wall slip is coming in clutch right now. Coming in clutch for Jerry K, that is. Scoop for ice cream, and Jerry K gets two scoops for the victory in this set. The scoop, and Jerry scoop. K.